Hello, DigiDs, and welcome back to another episode of Ixion. Ixion? Ixion. We'll figure out our pronunciation eventually. I think it's Ixion. But we're starting right where we left off before. A little bit halfway between the first mission. You know, I was real excited about what can come next. And, you know, we kind of got to this point where we had to go research the EVA airlock and start taking a look at perhaps the external structure of our base. So, you know, hey, if you're jumping in right after the last video, then, you know, you already know what's going on. But if you missed it, go check it out. We do have an episode one of this, and it's a super interesting plot line that's going on so far. And, you know, and it might be interested. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you've been coming back to watch more videos. And without further ado, I say let's just jump right into the video. So, what were we doing before? We were trying to get the EVA airlock. And we need to go to, what was it, the technology tree. That's right, we were just about to look at all this. Now, obviously, as you can see, a lot of the stuff isn't unlocked yet, so we don't exactly know what's going to be in those slots. However, EVA airlock is right here. Ooh, it does look like we can eventually get, like, extra upgrades to each research. Okay, that's good. Repairs up to 48 units of hull per cycle for 4 units of alloy. Okay. Well, let's research. Get that going. And let's resume. We're kind of just waiting for stuff to uh, progress, so we're kind of putting it on a times three very fast speed, seeing how things go along. We were looking at the system map before, weren't we? That's right. I think we got everything discovered that we know of at the moment. No probes or anything like that at the moment. Don't know how that works yet. So yeah, just got a two science ships. Yeah, I think we're just kind of waiting and see what happens next. Uh, the EVA airlock is already at 70%, so we just give it, like, not even a minute here, and it's gonna be done. And we can start taking a look at, uh, what's going on with that. Probably by the time I'm done talking, rambling, like, rambling on, it'll be, it'll be done. <laughs> Construct the EVA airlock. Now, where do I want to put this? This is a behemoth of a unit. I, I kind of want to put it right in the corner like I did with the other one. With something so big like this, it's probably better to just kind of tuck it away. Yeah, that'll be good. Might get kind of in the way of other stuff in the future, but eh, it'll probably be fine. Get those roads going. Dang, look at all those robots coming along. Put that to high priority. I mean, it's the only thing being built right now, so hopefully that'll get taken care of right away. If I can zoom... Oh, I can zoom in on some of this. If I slow it down real quick. Yeah, I see these little robots coming along and building. I don't know. Are, you know, hang on. They're not robots. They're just humans in forklifts. <laughs> Everyone on this station is forklift certified. Who are you? Yeah, he's just on, like, another, like, pallet jack forklift type of situation. Oh, he disappeared. That's cool, though. You can kind of see them building in there. Let's speed it back up. Get that finished with. They're walking around, looking at the beams, doing whatever. That's cool. All the people walking around have, like, yellow hard hats. You know, I haven't really taken a closer look at most of the stuff. Everyone's walking around. So, they're, I guess they're kind of like sidewalks, I suppose. They're all walking on the edges. These are all stockpiles. Oh, you can actually see. Due to insufficient levels of electricity generation, Sector 1's power demand has overloaded. Stanford routines recommend that you construct a. There we go. <laughs> Let's just turn that off. Solar panel to boost overall electrical output. Ah, so they want me to build an external solar panel. Alright, so yeah, the EVA just got done. And that is Tycoon Exterior View. Where... Hole repair deactivated. What do I... Exterior construction. Okay. Engines and external systems. Solar panel set. Yeah, let's build a new one. It's gonna cost 10... What are those? Polymers? Polymers? How much does that produce? That produces 40. Wow, okay, that's a lot. 
I can produce, I can make two right away. And honestly, I think I will do that right away. Just to get both of them going, we're gonna need the power. And you upgrade them by having the one prior to it, so it just keeps going up and up. All right. So that gives another 40, but for 15. But this one's given another 40 for only 10. All right, so I only have, though... Yeah, I only have 10 polymers left over after that. I should be able to turn the stuff back on now, though, right? Yeah, turn that on, 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 on. I said just turn that all on preemptively, just so I don't have to worry about that in the future. And if I do run out of power, then I know I got stuff I can turn off, right? Finish implementing the Volt engine via the build panel in the external view. All right, so let's go back out to the exterior view. That, that was this last tab, yeah, engines and external systems. You've got the EKP engine, allows the Tycoon to travel within a planetary system. All right, makes sense, within our own solar system, more or less. And what do we have here? Full engine, allows the Tycoon to traverse self-similar space. Well, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm assuming that's like a jump drive of sorts. All right, let's get that going. It's gonna cost 100, yeah, 100 steel. This episode might end up being way shorter compared to the other one. <laughs> the other one ended up being 40 minutes and I wanted it to cut it short because I thought that I still had about half of the like kind of starter area to go, but it seems I might be finishing a little bit earlier than I expected. But you know, hey, that's fine. You know, there is a lot of like 30 and 40 minute and even like 20 minute episodes that I have out there now. So it might be kind of nice to get like a short 7 to 10, 11 or whatever 12 minute episode going and see what happens. Because right now we're sitting at about 7 minutes I believe. I'm trying to do as little editing as possible. Which I probably should get into but I think I'll leave that for later. You know. Oh, incoming transmission. Administrator. Because of your continued successful management of the Tycoon, Dodos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Okay, so they want to make sure I have food and rooms. Of course, right? Administrative food supplies are dwindling. Despite claim control protocols, some crew members have become aware of this. They are worried food will soon run out. Making a public commitment to increase food production will squash any simmering rumors about their management skills. I pledge that there'll be at least three insect farms in the tycoon within ten cycles. Nyeh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I turned into some like Skeletor situation, but. I'm just, I'm pulling voices out of the, out of my butt. I don't know <laughs> where these voices are coming from, but hey, it's working. Now, I remember, you know, I've mentioned before that I have played this a little bit. So I remember food being a huge priority. That food was a big thing that was just as a concern in general, that I, you can never have enough of it. So I'm trying to see here. Our food is over here and our stockpiles are over here. If I want to keep them close, how big are these? So, that's no, that's a mess hall. Again, mess hall, maintenance, space. Where did I just had it? Population, infirmary, food. Excuse me, where did it just go? Oh, I need to research insect farms. Oh, right, just research that then. Bring the remaining workers from the Yurashanabi on board the Tycoon. Alright. So, I think I need to go to my fleet management. Yep, and have them pick up people. As well as that. You know, I... Let's just go ahead and just have them pick up anything that I can find. I guess, let's deprioritize that. Deprioritize a lot of that. I want to get these primary, like, resources focused on. Am I going to have enough space? Or, you know, am I going to have enough homes? Population, crew quarters. 
What, what do I have for crew quarters right now? Yeah, well, let me pause. Let's get a... Yeah, let's get that research. A probe on constructs probes used to explore penetrate systems for resources and anomalies. Cool. Alright, so insect farms are done. We need to take a look and see where I want these. These are how many blocks? I'm going to just put my finger on the screen. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're eight long. What do we got on the back side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, yeah. Am I reading that correctly? So that should be there, and then that should be. No, they're just. I'm one, two long. Wait, no. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I am crazy. So, how do I want to do the food? I might just kind of line them all up on the south side. But I want them close to the warehouses. Hmm. Well, I think I want to put one there. Simply because it fits so well. I can put one there. And I'll save... I think the rest of that... No, 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 no. I'm going to go back and forth a lot with this. There is going to be a lot of redesigning as the game comes along. I'm sure. There is going to be a lot of it. Um, I don't want to overbuild. Because the game has just mostly just started. I want more stuff in the future, but I don't want to waste all my resources at the moment. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Alright. Let's continue. Let's fast forward. I need at least three insect farms. So I've got those three going. What's steel? I don't have a whole lot of steel at the moment. Ah, and you know, speak of the devil, there's 30 more steel. The different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the full bonding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Oh, he wants to talk to me? Wants to talk to moi? Well, say no more, because he's he's gonna be talking, so don't talk over him. Thank you. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others like Dolos who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The Tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. All right. So basically, we're about ready to jump over to the next sector. Uh, you may have noticed while he was talking, I did get rid of the tech lab because I think I want to... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and move this. I want to do a whole redesign here. Okay, let's hear me out. <laughs> 
Hear me out. So, I want all of the food to start going over here. Or, you know what? Over here, on this side. I want one, two, three. Let's dismantle this. Because those will be closer to... You know, I don't need a third just yet. Those will be closer to the actual uh, stockpiles, right? Uh, you know, I guess I'll build a road here. Why not? And that'll be good. So that means once I fill all that up, I can do one, two, three. So I'll have like five farms here. And that's a pretty good middle ground. Now that means that I can move the tech lab. Hang on. Can I build the probe launcher that got done research? I can't. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on. <laughs> I only have 117 alloys. There is the probe launcher. Let's build that. That's going to take 90 of it. That's already a lot to begin with. And this is going to be my tech lab. And that's already a lot to begin with. And that's 75. Okay. Where, how, do I need all these houses? <laughs> I kind of do. You know what, so, I only have 174 people. These mess halls can feed up to 500 people. Let's dismantle one of these mess halls. I don't need this many stockpiles at the moment. So let's get rid of one of those. And is that enough to get me my tech lab? It is. All right, perfect. Food. Oh, food's coming. Quit your whining. Quit your whining. It's coming. Hasn't just, just hasn't really been made yet. But I think with that, I should be... Oh, no! <laughs> it's in the way of my insect farms. I'm not going to be able to... Oh, it is one block. And this is one block. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Hang on. I think it'll be fine getting rid of one section of road that goes into the next area. Let's dismantle this. Let's just dismantle all of this. Yep, get get rid of it all. I got those extra stop piles to hold all the steel. I know it's called alloys, but dang it, I'm gonna keep on calling it steel. Get rid of everything there. Because you are all being moved to the side. That probe factories for my tech lab. Get rid of this road. And now I'll have enough for all those insect farms. Right? I should. Yes. Two, three. I'll be able to fit three more there and I'll have five insect farms. Which means if I even needed to, I could do like two more there if I wanted. Okay, good. We will jump and get this section or this chapter done and over with as soon as these are completed. Let's just give it a moment. And yeah, as soon as those are ready to go, we will go ahead and uh, go to the next area. Unprioritize that. Undo that. I'm going to have... Yeah, I have two alloy left after everything that's said and done. What's going on down here? <laughs> you give the people <laughs> paths and they shall walk <laughs> I don't know what's going on down here but they're having a grand old time <laughs> maybe I should get rid of one of these roads I, you know let's, let's do it just to make it look a little prettier yeah I got rid of all that <laughs> what are you guys doing huh you dancing is that what he's doing? Is he dancing on the side of his terrace? 
They're doing something. All right, that's all finished, right? Technology tree. Did I forget something? Alternative life. Cryo center. No. Polymer. A steel mill. That sounds important. But I can't do any of that stuff yet because I don't have the science for it. Is there something I'm missing on the probe launcher? No, not quite. I guess I just haven't gotten to that point where it's important. So... Move the Tycoon into orbit of the moon. Get rid of all these little pop-ups. System map. How do I move Tycoon? Move the Tycoon. In orbit of the moon. All power from the main grid will be diverted to the, you know, the engines during the cycle. Tycoon, during the Tycoon movement. Sector will be powered by batteries during this time. Well, I have no batteries. Well, that's going over to the moon. Although, I don't think it'll take that long because I'm on fast forward. Initiate a vol jump via the button in the planetary system map. Volt engine status ready for activation. Alright, well, I am... You know, this might be the last you'll hear from me for this episode. I'm going to turn up the volume uh, and just let it play out. And then when it ends, it ends. And with that being said, once you start seeing the end cards, I will see you all in the next video. Without further ado, though, we still got this to see. Activate the Vol Engine as I turn up the volume. <laughs> in accordance with Prof Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Vol Jump initiation. I'm still waiting for my ships to get back first, though. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I still see them in the background. They're, they're, they're coming. Bro, I know that I know. That I said you might be the last to hear from me, but hang on. I gotta wait for my ships. You just told me I gotta wait for my ships. I ain't, <laughs> I'm not gonna leave them behind. Oh, I can't see it behind the screen. Or in this little pop-up. Uh, are they home? I hope they're home. Well, I hope they're home. <laughs> Let's commence jumps, my DGDs, and we can jump into the next video. <laughs> but all right, all right, I'm done, I'm done. Let's start. Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children, to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. 
We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it, I give you the stars. I give you the full engine.